Right, so while we're doing this, I thought it would be a good opportunity just to uh, have a look at the camshafts actually moving. This isn't something you'd do when the belt was connected, but because we've got the head off and we're cleaning it, we've had to turn it and we'll have to set all the timing back up when we put it back on. And if I come in a little bit closer, you'll be able to see the... Um, camshaft just turning there and uh, also pushing down on the um, valves there all right so we've turned the head over so you're now looking down onto the valves um, and of course normally they would be almost upside down when they're sitting on the engine we've got it up facing this way so you can uh, you can see it and um, I thought we'd just have a look at this as well because it's a good opportunity to see it but it also shows you how the um, valves stick well out into the space where the piston is and obviously the piston's coming almost close up to this uh, head and if you look at this um, ruler here and I turn it round you can see just how far when the valves are fully open they come in or lift past that point of the uh, head into the space where the piston would be and that's why it's so important and we sort of make a big thing about getting the timing right because if you get it wrong uh, when you start the engine up the piston would come up as this valve comes down and uh, would damage the piston that's also what happens when the belt snaps which is why we always like to keep our belts changed and uh, up to date and it's something you don't often get to see because it might be something you already know or have seen but i thought why would doing this video i would just show you just how the um valves come right out into uh, that space which on an engine that um sort of fail safe they wouldn't come out into the space where the piston uh, goes so hopefully yeah that's give you a, a good sort of visual reference just how far those valves open um past the head and into the space where the piston is and if we just turn it round that'll give you a view of those valves opening and uh, shutting a little bit And then if you now turn the other side, you can see those valves opening as, uh, as well. And it's a nice thing to see because obviously when the engine is, is running, they are moving so fast, you probably wouldn't even see them opening. So uh, being able to turn it over manually like that gives uh, us a nice visual reference of the valves opening and shutting on the uh, cylinder head while we're cleaning it up. 